two, one. Say good morning, guys. Three, two, one. Good morning, guys. Try again. Close the door. Three, two, one. Good morning, guys. Right, three, two, one. Good morning, guys. Say really happy. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today's video. Yeah, I guess who's sick. I don't know if you can tell, but this girl is sick. But when you got horses, do you get to be sick? No, you guys might not know. If you are an OG member, then you would know. Sophie was a very sick baby, and she couldn't handle any kind of cold at all. She had asthma, and anytime she got sick, whew, she got sick. Spent a lot of time in the hospital as a, as a young little girl until she was four. Anyway, I always worry a little when she gets sick, but she's getting better. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, we are headed out early. It is early. It's 9 o'clock. Ooh, we better go. We're late, yes. as always. Anyways, we gotta go. We have lessons with Brandon. We are gonna see our horse. We have a lot going on. I'll explain as we get there. But welcome to today. Go out there and see what God has planned for you today. Something amazing is waiting for you. You just have to open your eyes and look for it. Oh, this door. Sam, you gotta fix this door. Cubby, let me in. You just gotta get it, okay? Yeah, well, I'm not going around. Let me in. Thank you. You can only open it from the inside now in winter. Oh, thank you. Hey, Stella Bell. First, before we can do anything, we have to go feed our horses and let them out. Mm -hmm. Hi, Willow. They're all got, they've all got I their heads the cat. The cat wanted food today. Oh, I fed the cat yesterday. Um, he wanted food today. Did He's you feed him? Gone. Did you feed him? Yeah. Right, you guys, welcome to today's video. You guys may not know, but I had a cold last week. It lasted for about 10 days, and it was terrible. I never get cold, ever. Yeah, I gave it to Sophie. I wanted to get rid of it, so I had to give it to somebody. Just joking. Her and Sam, I do not want to give it to. My point is, yeah, Gabby and I don't ever catch colds, uh, but my point is that, did you guys know I, I had a cold? I don't think I've Gone, up, ever go. gotten sick in like a year or two. One time when Gabby was two is the only time she ever had a fever. That's the only time you guys. And it was the best day of my life because she's never been a cuddly, snuggly, kind, sweet baby child ever. She has just her own way of showing her love and it was never cuddling. Even as a newborn when I was nursing her, you could tell. You could tell she was like, oh, I'm only doing this because I have to live. <laughs> yeah, she did not like to be held. The I thing has changed. Down and I'm yeah, Sophie, Sophie was the love of the world, weren't you? If anybody was sad when she was a little teeny tiny girl, she would run up to them and say, don't worry, I will keep you safe. <laughs> amazing, she was amazing. And Gabby was amazing too in her own no. way. The world needs all different kinds of people. They need strong warriors that don't need to be hugged and kissed all the time to lead us. And they need loving, kind, supportive people. I, when I ride Finn, I tell him if he's scared, I tell him that if anything is scary, then we'll just kill it. Yeah, cause she, <laughs> she, yeah. Cause cause I'd like to totally see you kill something. That. Yeah, I'd like to see you kill something. You're like me. Um, uh, one of our... One of our amazing subscribers named Lori, she always comments really kind things. She sent us a prayer that we can say every time before you ride to ask God to take all of the pressure and all the scare, scary. Jesus, take the Jesus, wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. Well, there's this person that messaged me on Instagram and she's so nice. What did she say? Um, she's got her phone right there. She's going to whip it out. Oh, and then there's Brandon when text is like, woo, over jumps. Jesus, take, Jesus the take the wheel. So you guys, I've got a story for you about Jesus taking the wheel for me. Holy cow. Okay, so it was... She's got a lot of messages. You're a popular 10-year-old. She's got two new friends. Subscriber friends. And they've been playing Roblox every single night. And one is named Olivia and one is named Peyton. And they are really good friends for Sophie. I'm really happy to have them in our life. I thank God for bringing them to us. Hey, you are so great with the horses. I have a question. How high can you jump? That's not it. That's not it. It's Danielle Alexander. Danielle. Danielle Alexander. She says, um, don't let haters get to you and your family. I love you. Just don't want to see you get hurt by people. Stay safe out there. You are so pretty and your body is a cute shape and you never switched up. This is why I love you. Send, oh, that's a, that's a, that's a, do you know what that is? That is a chain letter. A chain letter is when people send you things. Oh, we're gonna get run over. 
Hi, Stel. I'm going to tell you guys who was right in our yesterday's trivia. Uh oh. Oh. Who was right yesterday? Who is our spookiest horse? Gracie? Gracie is, but she gets over it, and Willow's like, I'm not going near that. Gracie, whoever. Gracie is spookiest, but she gets over all the spooks when she knows it. Yeah. And she tries to face her fears, because one time we were playing with hula hoops, and then Gracie ran out. Yeah, the barn. Was like, that was amazing. Like, you can't scare that me. That was amazing. Uh, it's true, Gracie is our spookiest horse, and Stella is our sleepiest horse. <laughs> Stella, you've been sleeping. Anyway, they're looking good again. She's looking good again. Willow, Willow's good. She's just not really super spooky. Yeah, I like that you can. That's just her hair. That's perfect. That's the perfect weight for her. Hair, like you can't feel her wrist. Just her hair, because she slept on it. So now her hair is like that. Where her wrist. All right, let's go. Let's head out. They have water. They have food. They have outside. There was a time where I used to see. No, 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 no. There was a time when I used to see Stella's ribs and I used to panic and then when I saw her getting kind of chubby the last few days, I felt better about seeing the ribs. So I'm okay with a little bit of ribs. Come on, come on, Ruby. Come on, we gotta go. What? Why did you go in here? Because I wanted to turn off the lights and get Ruby. Ruby! Okay, so while we wait for the car to warm up, I wanted to say that Kiana Spud underscore Spud guest Gracie as our spookiest horse and World Class T also said I'm gonna say Gracie but I'm kind of nervous saying Gracie she seems like a reactive horse or Willow gosh I need to choose one hmm I'm going to say Gracie while I keep second guessing way to guess World Class T because you were right a lot of people guess Gracie a lot of people guess Finn and Finn is not a spooky horse oh he is he spooked an umbrella line I feel like all horses spook to some degree because it's just a natural thing to be scared for horses of certain things. But by spooky, I mean Gracie spooks at everything. Like she has never really settled in with the whole spooking and she was the same way at her old barn. Like everything is scary to her. She's the most reactive horse out of all the horses that we have. All of our big horses, I would say they're very low on the spooky scale. Finn will react if he's afraid like of storm or something like something that he knows is gonna hurt him like storm he'll react Sophie do you find him very spooky though like he doesn't spook often with you does he yeah. like you can count on one hand how many times he's ever spooked with you riding right yeah like not very much and we've had him almost a year so and Stella people said she used to be spooky I don't think she ever was spooky except when she was in a place that she didn't have confidence and she didn't feel comfortable. I think that the herd that she was in before was really scary for her. It was a really strong, all, all mare herd and it was really, she was scared in that herd. And I think that's what contributed to her having a spooky period in her life, but she's not spooky now. She's probably our least spooky now. Would you say her and Storm? Yeah. And then Finn and then Willow and then Gracie is our spookiest. So hats off to you guys that guessed it. All right, what's our next question? What's our next trivia question? You earn a shout out in tomorrow's video. Our next trivia question is, how old is Willow? So we, there's a video out there where Sam screwed up on her age. No, Willow and Gracie. No, 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 just Willow. No, huh? and Gracie. No. Because nobody knows Gracie. Okay. Willow and Gracie. If you know Willow and Gracie, put them both, but you only need to say Willow's age to but win. extra points. Extra points if you get Gracie. Hi, handsome. Hi. I brought apples. First one here is Finny. They're like, what's happening? Are you taking me? It's cold, huh? Look, Finn. Look, I got apples. Look. Storm's like, I'm coming. Look, I got it. Oh, he's licking his lips. Come on. Hurry up, Finn, before Storm comes. Come on. <sighs> Making room for your apple. Storm, you got to come in because the farrier is coming to take care of you. Uh-oh, you dropped it. Uh. <sighs> One for Finn. Here, Finn. Come on. Don't let Storm bother you. Get. It's okay. 
good boy. It still hurts me to leave them. It still hurts me. Storm's coming in because he's getting his, the farrier's coming to finish his feet. He, he had a malfunction with the product he used before. So he's coming here and he's gonna fix his feet. And Gabby maybe, oh, I see. But Gabby maybe will ride Finn after. Um, but today she's riding Johnny. This is, this is Gabby's big love right now. Like, you're the person who gives me treats all the time. I brought apples, but I gave them to our horses. But man, you deserve apples. What? He's so yeah. perfect. I forgot how much I like you too. Look at how tall. 17-1? 17. 17? Be taller with his on, Sophie has a fever. True horsewoman here, you guys. She's got a fever. She's sick as heck, and she's out here catching her pony. We have to bring the horses in before Gabby's lesson starts because the farrier's coming, like I said. And I need to have them ready. I know it don't show, but I'm falling. Cigarette smoke, sick from drinking. Baby. All right, I got Sophie in. Oh yeah, no school. No school, just go to the barn and freeze. So Sophie's sitting here in the viewing room. Got her a little blanket. She's got the heater on. Do you want me to, you want to move closer to it? Yeah, but I don't want to look out. Yeah, if you move a little closer, you could sit right here and you could still see out. Get down and I'll do it. I might have to start filming from in this room. Like seriously, oh, warming me up. You okay? I feel bad dragging a fever girl out. Nobody else would do it. You only do this kind of stuff if you're a true horse mom. Like two years ago when uh, we went to the barn, dad came and I went home and I barfed. Do you feel like you're gonna barf? Cause that is not the kind of flu I signed up for today. A little kid came last night to ride and her mom pulled in and she puked and then she came in and said to Fiona like, she puked for going home. Did you catch the flu from just by being near that mother? Better not have. Anyway, yeah, I feel bad. Do I feel bad? I feel bad. Do you feel bad? Are you okay here? Yeah. You, you comfortable? We'll go home and rest soon. There's Gabby out there freezing her butt. And then we're all in here. <laughs> Getting warm. Do you need a speaker system, Brandon? No. <laughs> so you can stand. And you just get a headset. Yeah. Here I might get that. Don't go there anywhere. Oh. Oh. Oh! Can you just get on right there? Yeah, and then he left. <laughs> Bonk, first fail. <laughs> Alright, Gabby, hope you're doing well. Do your own lesson. Yeah, let us know how it goes. Let us know how it goes. Will we be warm? Alright, we've got Storm, we got uh, Sophie, and we got uh, another horse, another pony, and we got Finn down there. Now I'm going to go in here and tape Gabby's lesson. Look at him go. I don't think I will save you, but I'll tell you the things we can do if you give in. We have one of the wise men teaching lessons today. <laughs> <laughs> I got my children. All right, I have to try and catch another horse for the farrier. Never caught her before. Fiona says she's hard. I'm gonna let you guys watch. Oh, come on. Look, I got more treats. Look, more treats. Why do you like that alpaca? Come on. Aw. Come on, I know, the pretty fat. Come on, look. Oh, don't suck my finger in there. Come on, a little further. Come on. Come on. You know you want them. They're good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're in a hurry. <laughs> Just walking over frozen horse poop. That's what you do when you're a horse girl. Don't come to me, Lily. Don't come to me. I know. I do like you. Good job, Brandon. You can run for it because they're following right behind you. Okay, that was crazy. You okay? Look at, can you guys see the fever? The fever in the eyes. Look at the eyes. It's all in the eyes. You can hardly open them. They look worse in real life. I'm sorry. 
please forgive me, worst mother of the year. She's a really cute paint. She's like, a, I don't know what color you would call it. She's like gray. Look at, she's got dapples. You're cute. You're cute, Scott. She's like, take me back to my friends. You're okay. You're okay. You gotta see the farrier. Storm's getting his feet fixed. And, and I'm trying to tr video Gabby's lesson. And Sophie's walking around with a fever. Don't let me Okay, we moved Sophie to another room where there's a heater. She took over the kitty spot. Are you okay? Do you want a blanket? Do you want to lay down? Yeah, I put all the horses back all by myself. Oh my God, she's shaking. Oh, I feel so bad. We had to come because the farrier was doing a favor for us, driving all this way. He's from way farther than us, and he doesn't come this far. He doesn't ever come this far, and he was coming to do a favor for us, and we had to come. Like, we just had to be here. And otherwise, I would have just canceled Gabby's lesson last minute. Anyway, you guys should also know that whenever we're here at the barn, we always bring our horses in because they're used to being, like, on indoor board, and they're outside now. And they're getting used to it, and they're, I feel like they're adjusting really well here. But I, um, we always bring them in, we pick their feet, we make sure that, that, like, we give them food in their stall, we give them, like, a little bit to eat, and then when we put them back out, we always give them more hay, because I want them to, like, uh, I want them to always have something, you know, that they can... I don't want them to go too long without eating. But also, the thing that I really like, one of the things I really like about this barn is that their paddocks are all kind of conjoined. So there's horses over, like Finn is out there right now. Is that Finn? Hanging out with the mares next to them. Like, so even when I take Storm, like, they're so much calmer than they've ever been in their entire life. I don't know what it is. They're Isn't just, Gabby no, you know, she, Gabby wants to ride Finn. You want her to ride Finn or you want to go home? Yeah, Brandon actually offered to drive Gabby home and let her ride Finn and I could take you home. But I said, no, we're going home right now. No stopping. Straight home to this girl. You want some medicine? You'll feel better. I will feel like I can bark a couple times. You feel like you're going to barf? A couple times. Oh, God. Uh, don't bring that flu into our house. Who gave us that? Nobody has thrown up in our house in years, you guys. Like, let's not start that now. Let's not start. Nobody has barfed in the house that we have now. Yeah, the house we have now, we've had been there for almost a year and nobody's ever thrown up. Somebody is coming to look at this horse on the weekend. Is he cold? He's soaked. Gabby, what did you do to him? Oh no, he was tired. Put a cooler on him. Put a Put a cooler on him. We don't want to put his blanket on and put him outside with him being soaking wet because that would not be good. Oh man, poor Sophie. Imagine being that sick girl and just wanting to go home and then your mom being not able to take you. Tomorrow is soon. He stopped at the store. I need to get Sophie some soup so she can have something hot to eat. We'll be strangers. It's so easy and free in this dark. Well, Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.